Hello Procrast Creators and welcome back. So today we're going to do a quick video to answer a question that I received on Instagram. Um, it has to do with mugs and putting vinyl on mugs and whether it would be good for the microwave. So I'm going to do that quickly today. going to throw it in the microwave just a couple of times. Um, also going to run it through the dishwasher. So I have these mugs. I got them either from AC Moore because they're going out of business or I got them from um, the Dollar Tree. So, um, you know, one to two dollars is all I paid for the mugs. So anyways, we're going to put that vinyl on them. We're going to run them through the microwave, run them through the dishwasher, and then we're going to see if the vinyl holds up. So, before I do that, please like, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you have any questions, by all means, leave me a comment below or find me on one of my social media sites. Procrast Creation DIY is where you can find me on most sites. If you want to buy something, Procrast Creation on Etsy will do that for you. Or you can um, inbox me on one of my other social media sites, Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter, and do that as well. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. All right, now let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just with rubbing alcohol since I already have it here for the tumblers that I do um, I will um, just rub everything down get it all cleaned off um, so I'm just gonna do that to each one I'm gonna pull these labels off of course we don't want that there and then um, I am going to use some vinyl decals that I already have printed just some that's been sitting around that I didn't use for one reason or another just so so if you want to know um, how to cut vinyl please look at one of my other videos I have plenty of those out there but for this video we're just really gonna put the vinyl on here and um, then take it through its test okay just something to think about and I didn't really think about it when I was explaining the other part um, until I looked at the sticker you want to make sure that whatever mug or um, glassware that you're using that it is microwave and dishwater safe already so you don't want to get something that is not and then you stick that joker in a microwave or dishwasher it and it breaks so I just wanted to throw that little bit of information ah, without cutting myself um, at you and again I'll be back in a moment so Okay, so I have decided to try a couple of things. Um, first, I'm just going to do just, again, this is just 651 vinyl. I'm trying a 651 vinyl that's shiny, and then I'm trying one that is has a more matted, um, matted surface. Um, so this is the more shiny one again these are just things that I had left over um, I don't know where I want to put this so you know these designs when you have curves a little harder to lay down so you want to lay them down from the middle and work your way outward so and sometimes I like to even pull off what already should be laid down <laughs> if it'll come Really? Let's see if I can get that off. I, I know if you've been doing this for any amount of time, you know sometimes you can try it from one angle and it gives you a hard time, and then you go to another angle and it's fine. So not paying attention so I hope you guys can see that mm. so as you can see so I get all of the letters down which I think this thing isn't finished being weeded but we're gonna go with it 
And then I'm going to get that little swoosh from the K down. There we go. So that is going to be example one. You're feeling lucky. Um, example two, same thing. Like I said, just a matted um, vinyl instead of instead of um, a shiny vinyl. So. So this one, I'm just going to need my little thing. I didn't do nothing. I guess I wasn't as prepared as I thought it would be. There we go. So this one, back this up some. Okay. So again, you want to start from the middle and work your way out. Start from the middle and work your way out. And then you can just rub it down until it decides it wants to stay. So. why I don't get rid of stuff I've been holding on to these for probably well over a year but you find a use for them so that'll be our test number two and I'm have to fix that like that leg on that so I will fix that off camera and I hate when people say they're going to fix something and then you don't know how they fix it. So I just take my little, um, goodness gracious, what's with my brain today? I just find a way to pull it up and then I can straighten it back out. So then that way it's not crooked. Okay. So that's the second one. Now the third one I decided, because you know, we crafters do things on the fly. And so I decided I was going to try to iron one on so I'm going to do that with the little mini Cricut press so um, if you got one of those for Christmas or any other holiday I say you can do this so I'm going to try it out today and see what we get a feeling about this one being in the microwave but we are going to try it anyway so that would be our third one this is our heat press one um, and I might just give that a moment so I'm gonna put these in the microwave um, and then I will be back. Okay, y'all, I just wanted to give you the final. So here we have that shiny vinyl. It did just perfectly fine through washer and about, um, maybe 10 times in the microwave. Same here with the matted 651 vinyl. It did fine. And here we have the iron on vinyl, which I'm sure the heating element of both the microwave and the dishwasher would cause that to go away. 
since it is activated by heat. Um, so um, there you have it. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. As always for watching, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And I'll see you all the next time.